All right, time to check. And I thought I'd seen some movement. I've gone and caught something that I didn't intend to actually catch in this cage. And what I think I'm seeing is a diamondback water snake. And these get in here from time to time. This is the trap that I set without any bait. And I can see some flashes, which means that I've got some minnows in here as well. I'm sure that they are not happy about who they're sharing this trap with. And that snake does not look happy either. Okay, very, very sharp fangs on these guys. They're not venomous. They're usually killed because people don't know that they're not. They usually think they're cotton mouths or some other type of uh, poisonous, venomous water snake. So, but nasty bite. They do have extremely, extremely sharp teeth. And those are used for grabbing onto slippery things like your frogs and your fish and other aquatic creatures. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually go about opening this cage and hopefully extracting that snake and showing you what else we've caught without causing too much injury to myself. So let me go ahead and zoom in the camera and see if I can attempt not to get hit. All right, well, let's go ahead and pull the trap up and see what we got. He is definitely not happy. He's striking at some of those minnows, but I think he's just angry. I have this thing full of minnows. A bunch of guppies, a couple shiners, things like that. Looks pretty good. And it's a pretty angry looking snake. So let's go ahead and get him out of there. I would not advise this. I don't have my gloves on. These guys can, uh, can make you bleed pretty easy. And they are incredibly fast. So... Let's see what we can get, our, get ourselves into. Come on out. And there we go. There you got it. This is a diamond-backed water snake, and I can already smell him. These guys have a ton of musk on them. This is pretty much their, uh, their way of getting predators away is that he has just excreted all kinds of nasty, nasty waste into the water and on me. And usually that's enough to make most of the predators let go, or at least a few of them. So pretty good maneuver. About two, two and a half foot long. These guys usually don't get past five foot long, but here in Texas I've heard of them getting up to about 10, but that's extremely rare. Again, these things get killed quite often, being mistaken for cotton mouths. They do have a white mouth. They do have very sharp teeth. They are pretty aggressive. Uh, but other than that, they're pretty harmless. We like to see them out here. They are edible if you want to eat them. Uh, so if you're surviving, this is a food source. You can get about a half pound of meat out of them after skinning and putting over a fire. But otherwise, we let them go and they'll just go ahead and clean out the creeks of all the pretty much fish, amphibians, most of those aquatic species. So, good find. Feel pretty bad for those minnows though. <laughs> we'll let him go. Let's look at what else we have caught with this now that I've gotten the snake out of the way. And it looks pretty good. We're looking at probably about 20 of what we call mollies. And some people call them guppies, some people call them mollies. But take a look at that. Good size bait size a good catch especially when you take into account that there was absolutely no bait used in this trap if you don't know what i'm talking about there's another video that's linked to this that'll show you how i set this up but no bait was used in this rectangular geese trap and pretty good bait if you're surviving that's food that's calories so good luck trap on and uh, we'll catch you all next time All right, time to check. And I thought I'd seen some movement. I've gone and caught something that I didn't intend to actually catch in this cage. And what I think I'm seeing is a diamondback water snake. And these get in here from time to time. This is the trap that I set without any bait. And I can see some flashes, which means that I've got some minnows in here as well. I'm sure that they are not happy about who they're sharing this trap with. And that snake does not look happy either. Okay, very, very sharp fangs on these guys. They're not venomous. They're usually killed because people don't know that they're not. They usually think they're cotton mouths or 
some other type of uh, poisonous venomous water snake so but nasty bite they do have extremely extremely sharp teeth and those are used for grabbing onto slippery things like your frogs and your fish and other aquatic creatures so what I'm going to do right now is actually go about opening this cage and hopefully extracting that snake and showing you what else we've caught without causing too much injury to myself. So let me go ahead and zoom in the camera and see if I can attempt not to get